Hey everyone, it's John here from Matukaki, back with another video, and this video is going to be the case for why the Pittsburgh Penguins will win the 2020 Stanley Cup. I've made this video already for other teams, teams that I believe have that shot, that we can make that case for them winning. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, smash that like button, and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Give it a chance. I'll be streaming every day for playoffs, making content, so hope to see you around for the Penguins, I think there's a few cases to be made and a few different aspects. And I think starting with the easy kind of point, Crosby and Malkin. The one-two punch, arguably the best or one of the best one-two punches in the league when they're on. Obviously, we see in the West now the mcdavid settle one-two punch. And we see it around the league. But for Crosby, Malkin, we're talking about a team that's won three cups with these two players. And they can do it again, I believe. And you're talking about Jake Gensel, who was on a 40-goal pace. Honestly, for a guy that got injured, and while, you know what, it's so long from that injury, and not enough people are talking about his overall impact, and the fact that he steps up in playoffs. Gensel, for me, could be a huge X-factor here. Crosby, Malkin, we know that they're going to perform to a certain level, and it really depends if they just absolutely explode, but regardless, they're going to be great. And Gensel could be that guy, again, that maybe averages a point per game in the playoffs. Jason Zucker, another guy that I believe on that line with Malkin could be huge. Because if you see with Crosby, if it's one of those things he has Gensel, but has Shiri, could Shiri step up? But Malkin's line for me, while the matchup game overall, and if they move forward into the playoffs, it might be a focus on Crosby while that Malkin line actually makes some noise. Brian Russ is a guy that averaged over a point per game. So that's something to look at as well. And then obviously you look at your depth. Patty Marlowe, the experience that he brings. I think Jared McCann's going to be a huge piece. I think that fourth line needs to be talked about more. I mean, obviously for a guy like Hornquist, who's on that third line, I think you saw the game and a goal from him. I think he has somewhat of a clutch factor sometimes, and he can be physical. He can be a little bit of an agitator. That fourth line for me could be huge for the Penguins. When you talk about Teddy Bluger, so underrated. Aston Reese, who is one of the better defensive forwards in the league in terms of those role players. And a guy like Brandon Tanev, who there was some question marks when the Penguins signed him to that contract, but he's been absolutely great in a bottom six role for them. The penalty kill for the Penguins, I don't think it gets talked about enough that it's like a top 10 penalty kill in the league. And while their power play numbers-wise didn't do great, I think they had an around a 19% comparing to a team like the Oilers that were close to 30% on the power play, which is insane. The Penguins are getting guys back. Getting guys back that they didn't have, and they're going to be healthy, completely healthy. You're talking about a number one power play unit of Crosby, Malkin, Gensel, Latang, and then you have the options of who you want to fill in there. So I think it's going to be insane for the Penguins going to the playoffs healthy, and they have that opportunity to dominate on the power play and be very consistent on the penalty kill as they have been. And then you look at the defense group, and while I think it might be still a question mark, I think you have that top pair of Latang Dublin that's been great. That's been one of the better uh, pairings in the playoffs. And you have that second pair that, yeah, it's it's not unreal, but Marino's been great. Pedersen's been pretty decent. And then the third pair is somewhat of a question mark, but Justin Schultz has shown he can be very good in the playoffs. And then it's just a matter of what Jack Johnson can do. Goaltending. I think this could be a huge X factor here for why the Penguins could win the Stanley Cup because you're talking about what we've seen in the past. In 2017, when you had Fleury, and Fleury was actually playing great, but you still shifted to Murray and they still ended up winning anyways. And for this team, you have, in a similar sense I would say, Matt Murray, who's been proven to be a starter. Yes, he had a little bit of a down year, but was actually playing better towards the end. And Tristan Jari, who had an insane year for what he has been in his past. And he's still young, and he's a guy that maybe if it played a full season and didn't slow down, he could have been maybe close to that Vezina conversation. But again, that's probably a hot take. But two goaltenders, two goaltenders that can step up. So if I'm talking about why the Penguins could go far, and for the case of winning the Stanley Cup, it's not only do they have this insane forward group, in my opinion, on both sides of the ice, on both sides of the ice... They have two goaltenders that chances are one's going to be hot, one's going to be very good, and one that could carry them far. While any upset can happen, and i got to make that clear in the video, I mean, the Penguins could get an upset towards them any time, and they could get eliminated. But the way that this team stands, I do believe in this team. I think they could go far, 
And while I'm making cases for other teams to win the Stanley Cup, I do think the Penguins healthy could be the teams or one of the teams that benefit the most from this break and from this restart and going and healthy. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your X factors are. I mean, Gantz is a huge X X factor for me. I think that fourth line is a huge X factor for me. And I think the goaltending, the fact that you have two options is a huge X factor. So Crosby, Malkin, can they lead the pens to another Stanley Cup? Please subscribe if you're new, smash the like button, and I hope to see you more. Let me know your predictions. Let me know your Stanley Cup favorite. This was John from Atakaki. Have a good one. Peace out.